Hello! Welcome to year six of my educational career. It is going to be my first day setting up the classroom. I just got to my elementary school. Um, I was just thinking about this when I left my house and I told my boyfriend, I was like, this is so weird. Like, obviously I'm excited to set up my classroom, but I'm more concerned with like the curriculum. We're adopting a new math curriculum this year. And so for the last week or so, like in anticipation of the school year starting up, I just keep having these dreams that I forget how to teach math. And um, if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I teach at a departmentalized elementary school. And so I teach math, science, and social studies in those last two uh, alternate based on semester. But like I've been teaching math for the last five, or no, sorry, the last, yeah, five school years. I was like, how long have I been teaching? Um, so like I know how to teach math. I could probably tell you most if not all of the math standards at least for first grade and so i don't know why this was or this was like a series of dreams i was having so it feels kind of weird knowing like okay well i'm in the same room for the third year in a row i know what all the furniture is i know how i want to set things up where things are going to go and i weirdly am kind of looking forward to unpacking curriculum more than unpacking my room uh i am though looking forward to having a new set of routines rules expectations in place looking forward to a new group of students. It's looking like 27 in my morning class, in my homeroom, and 27 in my afternoon, so that's a lot of little tiny humans to have running around. Um, but as I go into my first day, my biggest goal today is to get furniture figured out, and then, um, because I said we're getting a new math curriculum, I believe half of it is outside of my room, and the other half is outside the other first grade math teachers, because there's two content teachers per grade level. So I don't know if she's going to be in the building today or if she's already been in. So I'm going to try to get all the furniture out basically so that I have tabletops to spread curriculum out all over the place. And then, oh, I was going to say, and then maybe I'll like do something like make copy something easy. But then I realized being the grade level leader, the entire grade level school supplies are also in my room right now. So that means I have 104 of every school supply, give or take, um, in my classroom right now. So I'm going to go get my keys because right now I just have my badge and like the entry key. But I'm going to go get my keys from the main office and then I guess go figure out what in the world my room looks like. So here is to year six classroom setup. Bye. Okay, so I went and got my keys, said hi to a couple of staff members that I found in the building. I'm going to do a quick loop around the room. Everything looks, I think, exactly how I expected it to. Like, no furniture looks like it was swapped out from what I had last year. Like, sometimes, like, a table might change or, like, I'm surprised I still have a bookcase despite being a math teacher. But super cool. So I'm going to do a quick loop around of the room. And then I'm going to put this on the tripod and start moving things immediately because you'll see that this is not... <laughs> cohesive at all to movement so this might even feel a little choppy as I try to navigate around this classroom so here's the door and now I'm going to turn it from here so door so here's all the school supplies which is super nice because I was expecting it to be many more boxes so this is really nice that my team and I they even labeled everything for us in the front office which was so nice of them so it should be pretty easy to split things now all right so <laughs> here's the madness Here's all of my classroom furniture, and I'm kind of wondering why there's one great chair over there by itself when the rest are here. But bookcases, there's tables. Um, I did an order through our PTO, and they already um, had that delivered for me, which was really nice. My small group table. Um, I know they repainted the walls, but man, they feel extra white right now. This leads to our bathroom area. Oh, that's where the phone is. Okay, I was wondering what happened. I didn't even notice it when I put my bags down. Um, so yeah, and then something that's new is that I have this whiteboard now, and last year that one started on the floor. What probably feels like a long story short is that I had the one whiteboard on the right side of the smart board on the floor because we didn't have, um, like the district maintenance team available to hang, and there's like special rules with hanging that for safety and whatnot, and then... Um, I had that whiteboard because I had a projector my first year here and it got changed to a smart board. So then another classroom had their projector mid-year changed into a smart board. So they're like, hey, do you want an extra whiteboard? I said, yes, cannot give me 
enough whiteboard space to hang, you know, anchor charts, calendar, all the things. So I'm really grateful to have two whiteboards, but now I have to figure out kind of how to use them, which is definitely a first world problem, but I'll figure it out. More loop around from now the other side of the room. Yes, I know this is installed upside down. It's fine. Well, I'm having some super fun technology problems. So I'm just gonna start moving furniture and hope that I can watch Shit's Creek eventually when that decides to play nicely. So just making this quick video to let you know why it's a mess. Okay, I'm hoping you can see me. So I'm having some thoughts. <laughs> so I have all the same table. So I have three rectangles. One is a little bit shorter than the others. I think the one I'm sitting on and the bottom one over here are the longer ones. And then the top one is a little bit shorter. And then I have two round tables, but then I have, I don't know, the one I was just holding, the, like the shorter of the two bookcases with the open back, that one, last year I used for math manipulatives and then the other one held laptops but I just moved the giant bookcase where I kept the laptops so now I'm wondering again I don't know if you can see it I didn't really look at what was in the frame I'm just hoping that you're not like talking to just my nose down but I'm thinking I don't know what I'm thinking I don't really love blocking the window but that tall bookcase didn't really block much but I was also thinking of using, instead of for math manipulatives, the shorter one, swapping their roles. But I feel like maybe I should stick with what worked, which was math manipulatives on the shorter one. And now another thing that I didn't do last year because I didn't have the whiteboard until like May. I know I said middle of year, but more or less, I think like April or May. But I had the shorter one under the smart board. But I'm wondering if I could utilize that space under the whiteboard in a different way. And the bookcase and the TV are almost flush with each other. I think the bookcase comes out like two more inches, but then if the bookcase isn't there, that might also give me a little bit more movement in front of the board, but in front of the class that's sitting here. So now I'm wondering, the chargers are really long for the laptops. If I wanna put them back where they were, maybe I should flip this camera around. Let's actually do some out loud thinking here. So this bookcase, which I'm sorry for all the turning, is right here, like the second one. Last year, I kept it where this large one is, so over here. And then, because it's pretty long, it went to like the edge of the window, and then I had a really long, like 20 plug, 20 outlet extension cord thing for all the laptop chargers, and that was on the floor in that area, and it, you know, plugged in right there. And then, similarly, this large bookcase instead was right here on this white wall because you probably can't tell in this video, but this is not actually a perfect right corner. Uh, none of the corners in this room are right corners except for by the door. So I'm wondering if I should leave this one here, I could still put math manipulatives on it or I could put center work here. But I feel like if I use this bookcase for center work again, then it's gonna be in a harder to access spot. So again, now I really don't know if you can see me because I had at least had a little bit of an idea last time when I sat down. But maybe I'll set it up how I had it for last year and go from there because I feel like I won't know until I start actually putting things out. Okay, we are at 11.05, I got here at 10.05. So in the last hour, I've chatted with a bunch of people, fought technology, and I think I moved most school furniture to their spots. So there's still like, obviously my furniture, like my 10 drawer, rolling carts, I have some Sterilite bins up there that have to get brought down laptop charging buckets, but like, I guess laptop buckets are actually the schools, but 
like, you know, big wooden shit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm gonna do a quick loop around, show you what that looks like, and then um, I'm gonna empty out my backpack. So now I'm on a rant. So anyway, I'm gonna empty the bags, do the quick loop around first, and then because I have tables out, I really think I'm just gonna start divvying up curriculum and just seeing where I wanna put things because I don't wanna, like I'm thinking like taking out bins and moving math manipulatives, like I don't know what this curriculum has yet. So I don't want to design my room and then be like, oh, actually I have to move half the things that I just moved because I wasn't expecting X, Y, and Z to be part of the curriculum. So that's my plan of action. curriculum has been sorted out except for manipulatives that i'll leave for another day they're in like really big tubs and they're all bagged up and count or not counted up you know like it'll say like this is 120 pattern blocks or whatever so that should be pretty easy for my math partner and i to split up um i feel pretty good about the tables the more i move around the room and then i think what i'm gonna do next is take the sterilite drawers down put them in their designated spots and then my thinking is so last year there's three drawers the top drawer was folders for both classes so i have a morning and afternoon class and they're color coded so it's not like a confusing thing per se then the middle drawer was morning classes composition notebooks and their like journals so like the primary journals where it's a half page of picture space and then lines and then the bottom drawer was the same two notebooks yeah, but for my I afternoon class so now because we didn't like um, follow our curriculum that we had, we really didn't because it didn't fit the workshop model. Our black notebook was abused. It was always, always used for math lessons. Like they came down to the floor for a whole group lesson. That's where their math was working, like their math work was going. When they came to my table, same idea, that same notebook came with them. So I think the adjustment I'm gonna make this year is that those black notebooks are gonna be actually at my table in some capacity. I haven't figured out exactly what that's gonna look like, but I think it's just gonna be their small group notebook. So they always have it at my table. They can like, uh, maybe I'll keep it in a bin. I, I haven't figured this out yet, the logistics, but I think it'll be a bin near my table that has their notebooks. And then in their middle or bottom drawer, workbooks and the primary notebooks. I don't know how that'll work because the primary notebook's rather large. So I first, I guess I have to make sure it fits in the drawers. But if that's the case, notebooks and workbooks in a shared drawer. And I don't think it'll be too heavy because the workbooks feel pretty similar in weight to the notebooks. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go from there. And also because there's a practice, I'm like looking at these, I'm now an airplane or air uh, flight attendant. There's um, a whole like a set of practice books, which I think is just like almost like an enrichment. I don't think it's like a, rigor down or rigor up. I think it's just more practice of it. Um, and then there's a volume one and a volume two. And assuming we're gonna follow the scope and sequence, we're not gonna need volume two until mid-year, you know, like wherever that falls. So I'm gonna keep those probably in my storage closet or in one of the cabinets. But yeah, I think that's gonna be my next step. And the school supplies are an eyesore. So I'm really hoping that my team and I can like take that apart on Monday or something, just like get a cart and start divvying it up because I'm the last room in the hall. And so it has to go either next door, another door or another door down. So I feel really bad for my teammate who's furthest away. I'm gonna take the drawers down and start just digging things out at tables, even though they're not gonna stay at their table spots. They'll eventually go in the drawers. Thanks for listening. <laughs>
does it look tired? Do, does it? Do I look tired? Does it look like I'm tired? Because I'm exhausted. Um, I took a break from a lot of movement and made a lot of copies. So things that I needed to make, uh, you can kind of see that there's some piles here behind me. Um, but I like spent 20 minutes shredding colored paper and I'll put some pictures on one of these sides of all the paper that I shredded that I collected throughout the school year last year for this exact reason. Then I also just cleaned out some cabinets. So like I was uh, talking about earlier, the notebook, for example, are gonna be in those sterilite drawers, but all the extra labels I have, either now, like say my math notebook, but I mean, I guess I could still say my math notebook, but I'm trying to make it like a small group notebook. So recycled those labels. I had my classwork folder, like uh, the front of our folders have clear sleeves and the back does as well. And so I had the year on it, it said 22, 23. So, or did it? No, it said 23, 24. <laughs> anyway, so I had to just recycle a lot of things that won't be in use for whatever reasons. And then I printed like the first day of school crowns, supply practice, like cutting letters, numbers, all that jazz. So I just did some clerical things, I guess is kind of the right word. And then I just pulled out a pile of things that I want to hang up before I leave. And then I'm gonna head out. Um, I got so much more than I thought I would get done today. And, um, oh, you can kind of see those rainbow drawers behind me. I'm gonna spray paint them black, um, hopefully over the weekend. I use them for centers. I use them as paper trays. They used to be part of a rolling cart, but um, that doesn't match my aesthetic of neons. So I'm gonna paint them black and then use Cricut vinyl to label them so my kids know which draw to pull from or which tray to pull from but i'm gonna do a quick video i guess of just me hanging things up and then do a final wrap around of the day uh the ac is still not kicking so i am still rocking a very sweaty look but i think it's a pretty good day one probably my most successful or most productive day one ever <laughs> Okay, it's three o'clock. I am done for today. Whatever that looks, sounds like, feels like. Um, I'm so hungry, I forgot to pack a lunch. I told my boyfriend, oh yeah, I'll pack a lunch and I'll eat lunch at work and then, you know, like take a break and well, I forgot to pack a lunch. So I had some fig bars and brownies by that same like nature bakery, whatever company. I think things will also be a little bit easier to put together once we divvy up the school supplies. So I had said in an earlier video that on all the tables, I was like leaving workbooks. I have the caddies out, but oh my God. like uh, the new scissors are in there. The new glue stick, I might start with old glue sticks, but you know, like glue sticks are in there. All of their folders are in there. So like I can print I printed the back of their folders actually, which is this 120 chart, but can't stuff the folders until I have the folders. Um, I do have a couple of leftover crayon boxes. There is, uh, mm, I'm so bad at backwards things, but that gray, I'm gray brown box is crayons from last year. So I can like do crayons, but that's kind of lame. I just feel like once we get the supplies divvied up, then I can also change what's on the drawers. You look on this white one, actually, eh, we have folder labeled, but then notebook, notebook. I have to peel all those notebook ones off, not today, but another day and update the picture to be their math workbooks, like a picture of the workbook. And then I already have a picture of their blue primary journal. So just replace the black notebook with this. But once I have all the notebooks out, then I print their labels, like covers of them on the notebooks. Mm, hold block out my last name here but um you can see that this is a picture of a notebook but those are shipping labels i do like a half page shipping label to cover um their notebook so i don't have to like tape anything down they don't have to like confuse i'll be like oh the one with the notebook on it or the one with the kids on it you know like that's much easier and it's just peel and stick peel and stick peel and stick a hundred and four times
I have to work on my cozy corner. I started it and I was like, mm, this is not where my brain is at today. I think I cannot move any more physical things other than just my body and taping things. And I also need to ask for more tape because my painter's tape's running really low. So yeah, uh, I, I can't form words anymore. I'm so hungry. Uh, I'm going home. <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of a very productive day one. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.